Hello, I'm Robert Del Grande, and I'd like to show you a little something I call the barbecue effect and demonstrate again the thousand one or more uses for California figs. The barbecue effect is where you combine sort of sweet, sour, spicy ingredients to, to get much like a barbecue sauce, something that when you cook it or put it on meats, it develops sort of a smoky, tangy sort of flavor. The one I'm going to make is sort of an Asian style fig barbecue sauce um, that we're going to use as a glaze. I'm going to start with um, fig paste. This is ground, ground figs, very thick. This will serve as the basis for the sauce. I'm going to thin it down with a little bit of fig juice concentrate. And you just add this where it will slowly soften that paste up and make it a little bit more sauce-like. Here we have, again, the meaty flavors of the fig, the fruity flavors of the fig. I'm then going to add a little bit of vinegar to it, in this case a little rice vinegar. This is the tartness. So we have sort of meaty and earthy and fruity, a little sweet, and then tart together. We're just going to kind of work it into a, into a sauce. From there, I'm going to add some savory elements. So here's a little bit of garlic I've poached that we're going to use as uh, garlic paste, crushed garlic. This again is going to move a lot of those fruity and sweet flavors into the savory category. One of my favorites, particularly with figs, is a little crushed anchovy, which again, the savory elements go up, it gets a little bit more meaty, and it, it, the impression is less sweet and more savory. So I'll add the crushed anchovy. And these flavors will sort of disappear together and all blend quite well. So now we have, for this barbecue effect, sweet and tangy and now savory elements from the garlic and the anchovy. Then I'm going to add, again, make it a little bit of Asian, and here's where the roads open up to a lot of different possibilities. I'm going to add some ginger, spicy ginger, and a little bit of red chili flake. Here the high spice and the tang of the ginger and the red chili, again, take those savory flavors even higher into a, a wonderful complex uh, glaze or sauce. And you're just going to mash them together into what would look like a, a glaze. A little bit thinner would be a sauce, but we're really only about one step away from being a chutney or any of those other sort of pastes that are used and glazes that are used in other, other cuisines, whether Mexican or, or Indian or Asian. And so I'm just going to blend these all nicely together. Then I'm just going to spread it on top of salmon, which I think is a great combination for like a barbecued salmon. But other fish will do as well, swordfish, other big sort of game type fish. But it could be used for meats as well, even pork or roasted chicken. So this is just spreading it on the top. And when this cooks, all those flavors are going to kind of caramelize and be sort of smoky. And it'll get a little bit sort of crunchy as it caramelizes. Very simple to do. It's a great, really great look. And this I'm going to send into a, a broiler. It could be in a hot oven as well, where that heat is going to caramelize the outside of that salmon. And it will come back looking something like this, where it's just a little sort of barbecued glazed fig crust on the top. Uh, for the presentation, it's very simple. We have a lot of flavors working here, so we're going to keep it fairly simple. I'll put the salmon onto the plate. I have here a little bit of uh, bok choy with this knife. Other vegetables work as well, but I love the bok choy with it. It's a great sort of combination. And then I'm going to put just a little bit of a kind of a tart sesame vinaigrette, just to kind of bring things together and give it a good little shine. And while I'm always thinking of those thousand and one possibilities for figs, I have some sliced ones here, which if you drop into the vinaigrette, so they'll absorb some of that sesame flavor and little bits of the, of the rice vinegar. We can just sort of finish the bok choy with it, almost like addition itself, the little bits of shiny fig. So it's a great little dish, and I think it exemplifies not only the barbecue effect, but again, one of those thousand and one or more ways to use California figs.